So this time we will talk about lesson 2.5 cubic functions and transformation and polynomial functions of higher degree. So in this case, we better know the parent function of each case. Okay. So the last time we talked about that the quadratic function case x squared that is the, the parent function. And based on this, we can find its transformation, such as given gx equal to x squared maybe plus b, then fx equal to x squared moving up b units, right? And then given hx equal to x squared minus b, the same thing, the fx equal to x squared moving down b units. So similarly, we also confirm that given gx equal to x minus b square, then fx equal to x square moving to the right, b unit to the right, and then given hx equal to x plus b square, then fx equal to x square moving left to b unit. So based on this fact and this property, if we have any given function is a x equal to x minus b square plus b, then we can apply this uh, up and down, up and down, and then right and left property here. So this case, oh, sorry, this is c. Then we can say uh, right b unit of c value right there. So let's look at one example. If given gx equal to maybe x plus 3 square plus 5, then basically this case we can apply this property and this property together. So become left 3 units of 5 units. So we drew, we drew the graph now using uh, is transformation so basically this is the y equal to x square graph then now we can do this one simply moving left three units and then our five units and then from here we have exactly same y equal to x square curve here then this is going to be gx equal to x plus 3 square plus 5. Now, so what about the cubic fun function? So, cub cubic function is form as x cubed. So, let's find some few points and then draw this graph here. So, maybe 0, 1, 2, negative 1, negative 2. You plug each x value into fx, then you will get those outcomes are 8, 1, 0, negative 1, negative 8. So, we plot those points on the plane graph here. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 3, 4, 5, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So points are 0 and 0, 1 and 1, negative and negative 1, negative 2 and negative 8, and 2 and 8 here. So if you connect them, then it looks like this. So that is the fx equal to x cube function. So now, what if I'm um, asking g x equal to x cube plus two? Then 
So based on the quadratic function policy, we may conjecture him moving up to unit uh, up here. And this is correct. So since we know this is cubic function graph, now moving these two units up and make the graph like this, then that is going to be gx equal to x cubed plus 2. And similarly, if given hx equal to x minus 1 cube, then before when we talk about quadratic function, inside value always moving right or left, right? So this one we can apply exactly the same way. So inside one, so it moving one unit to the right. Therefore, the original function is this one. Now the hx function moving one unit right here and becomes like this. So there will be hx equal to x minus 1 cube. So then now you can guess the graph of this function. So ax equal to x plus 2 cube minus 2. So think about what we have learned from the quadratic function. Then we can guess the graph of this one. So inside one moving left two unit and outside one down two units here. So on the plane graph, original function is this one. Now this will be moving two to the left and down left two. So it becomes like this. So that will be our AX graph. Okay. Then what about uh, the given GX equal to negative X cubed? Before, when we talk about gx equal to negative x squared, we flip based on x-axis. So the original graph was this, and now it re reflect x-axis, so you have become downside here. Now, so we can apply same property. So the basic cubic curve is this right now because negative in front here so it reflect by x axis so this part moving up and this part moving down so the red one indicate gx equal to negative x cube graph so let's talk about a little bit more detail of the function transformation what if I'm giving you any equation, maybe h x equal to 3 minus x cubed? Then you can rethink this one, h x equal to negative x cubed minus 3, or plus 3. So in this case, the center is x equal negative x cube. Why equal the x cube? That's the center. So you know that negative x cube graph is this one, right? And now because of this, we are moving up three values. So one, two, three. So this become like this. Okay. Let's go into a little, little more deeper concept here. So given gx equal to, now 
negative x minus 4 cubic plus 4. Can you conjecture how in moving from a negative x cubed graph? Yes. So y equal to negative x cubed will transform to 4 to the right of 4 again. So graph is originally this is the negative x graph and then now in moving right 4 and then up 4 so become like this okay the last part of this video we are talk about difference between uh, fx equal to x cube and gx equal to 2x cube and hx equal to 1 over 2x cube here. To understand better, I'm going to make a table and then compare those values. So x value 0, 1, 2, negative 1, negative 2, and then this is x cube. 2x cube 1 over 2x cube here we know uh, original function value which is 8 1 0 negative 1 negative 8 now this means we are doubling them here so become 16 2 0 negative 2 negative 16 but now this case we are half of them so it become 4 1 over 2 0 negative 1 over 2 and negative 4 okay so let's using GeoGebra and look at those graphs and then we can talk about a little more so this given green line is fx equal to x the cubic graph here now I'm going to turn on 2x cube function here. Then what's going to happen? So red one is 2x cubic function. And then let's zoom in. So uh, see a little more detail how it differs here. Okay. Do you see what's different here? So as you see, Red one is kind of inside of green line here. Okay, at the same time, if I turn on the hx equal to 1 over 2x cube, then the blue one is basically compared to uh, green one outside of the uh, green line here. Right? So, based on this, we can say that if this value is bigger than 1, then graph is steeper and steeper. So let me make another one maybe ax equal to 3x to the cubic. Then what happens? It's even steeper here. So let me compare 2x cube and 3x cube. So 2x cube. So this is x square, this is the 2x square, this is 3x square. Let me make another one. Then the purple one is more, more inside here. So this coefficient value is getting bigger and bigger than this graph line getting toward that y-axis here, right? Then which means it is steeper and steeper. So let me read here. So Look at this. So it's getting uh, the coefficient is getting bigger than uh, graph approach to y axis more and more, which means steeper and steeper. Okay. So let me make another one. Y equal to maybe hundred x to the cubic power. Then what happened? So as you see, this one is way here compared to green line. So I'm gonna turn it off all other functions that you can see better. This is hundred x cubic power. This is just x cubic power. So as you see, this one is more close to 
y axis. And then on the other hand, half x here 